family, how y'all doing? This is Blue Nola. I am back in the building to do another reading on Wendy Williams, the end of an era, guys. Finally, uh, we've been given some sort of closure on the actual show um, through um, Deb Moore Murray. They've finally spoken. Wendy's team has responded, um, and we have now gotten some sort of closure with the actual show itself. Um, they're saying that she basically feels it's been a challenging time. This is Wendy. Um, and she, uh, as she deals with her health, um, pretty much she understands the way that business works and that pretty much they've kind of discussed if she's able to, um, if her health improves and she's able to, uh, you know, put that energy into it that she's always welcome to come back and host. Sherry Shepherd Shepherd will now move forward with her own show. Um, not necessarily replacing Wendy, but actually getting her own show. Um, so I'm happy that uh, another woman is coming through and another woman of color is coming through to represent. So congratulations to Sherry. Um, it's bittersweet. Like I said, for me, it's bittersweet. But I just want to pull some energy around, you know, uh, Dunmar Murray. Uh, Dunmar Murray, sorry. And like their energy as far as their relationship with Wendy. Um, give me the energy spirit around Wendy Williams and Debmar Murray. Um, they said that she's always welcome to come back. Is that actually true? Is she welcome to come back if her health improves? Give me the energy around Wendy Williams and Debmar Murray. They have the Knight of Wands, the, the Fool card, and the Four of Wands. I mean, they say what they say, guys. This actually shows, despite the fact that the communication between them has been a challenge and that they feel like she, that she put them in real limbo in terms of the future of the show. They have full card energy in the four wands, which talks about they stand on their word, which is if she happens to recover, happens to recover and her, if her health improves, there is an opportunity for Wendy to come back and become established again. So I do believe what they're saying in terms of the company uh, Deb Mar Murray, as far as if she improves, she can come back. So they are very, um, they have integrity as far as, as far as that concern, as far as that's concerned. I do feel like, again, with that Knight of Wands energy in reverse, that talks about this whole thing is just thrown like them completely off track. Um, you know, in limbo, trying to fill the spots, trying to pay employees, not really understanding the future, not being communicated with. But despite that, they still see, they still honor, they're going to still honor her if she decides to come back. All right. So that's the first star. Start. Give me the energy around Wendy Williams and her statement. I mean, he kept speaking like it was like she, she, she. It wasn't like I just, you know, like I would have, I wanted a statement that was like more from the heart from her. Give me the energy around that statement that was released by Wendy Williams' manager. How does, what's the energy around that statement? Wendy Williams, she has, oh, she has five cups in her energy. And that is talking about she has experienced this loss, this grief, this mourning. This is like, this is real for her, guys. Again, she's still conscious of what's happening. She's aware of what's going on. Um, she is not uh, in a place where she's completely out of the loop, right? She's, a, she's again, alert. So that five of cups is like suggesting that she um, she definitely feels some sense of loss in this situation. Um, she's going to go through a period of, uh, she's going to go through a tough time. Um, that change here is the Will of Fortune change. Let me say this too, and I'm going to pull a few more cards. Um, Wendy Williams is going to find that, you know, even though there, that door is closing, that window will open. So that Will of Fortune is a change. The change was actually inevitable. This is a new a turning point here, right? And of course, she's going to, she has that five of cups in her energy, which talks about she will, you know, experience that loss. She will experience that sorrow over the decisions. I really feel like the way they handled the whole thing was really, I'm talking about on Wendy's side, I really felt like they should have been a little bit more transparent. They should have been communicating more. Um, but I think it was more of a matter of holding them off as long as they could, right? That's what it feels like to me intuitively, energetically, right? I'm holding them off as much as I could because I was worried about this inevitably happening, right? So the point of holding them off was because she didn't want to lose the show. She was holding on tightly. So thus the, uh, you know, reason why she put out the video and the strategic pictures. And even, you know, they're saying that she lost control of her Instagram, which I do believe. Um, the, 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 the show's Instagram, which I do believe. Um, that was still a way for her to stay connected. And so she fought the good fight. Um, but she will feel, you know, that she's not... 
happy, right? So even though they've said what they said, uh, you know, uh, uh, Deb Murray, they said what they said. She's not happy about this. This talks about uh, being diminished, right? Um, that Ten of Cups is in her energy. That's dispute energy, right? Um, also, too, you know, all of that, uh, the hard work, the years, the blood, the sweat. You know, this lady never missed a day of work. And this is this is the thanks I get, right? Star energy, feeling very low, right? That's a low energy. Low, low, feeling discouraged, uh, you know, feeling like she's missing her opportunities. Um, a, a real sense of no direction, really. This is conflict. So worried about the fans and worried about her future and all that stuff is here. Um, Wendy, take your time and and, and, re, and that's that that six of cups talks about restore yourself. That six of cups is talking about, you know, you know, you know, strengthening yourself. So take the time to restore and strengthen yourself. And of course, she's put a lot of years into this. She's put a lot of time to hit this. This is her name. This is her brand. Um, and I think she just wanted it to be a little bit different. But I think they fought the good fight. Um, they were trying to be strategic in the way they did. I think it backfired on them. And I kind of said that in my podcast. I said, you know, I think that the video and I think that the pictures were going to do harm, more harm than good. Um, but I think she did it as, as a way to say show that she was okay. She, You know, it's kind of like... It's kind of like I'm trying to demonstrate to the bank that I'm okay to get my money. But on the other hand, I, I got this show looking like, okay, you're on the beach and you're talking about your at going to the gym. All of this stuff didn't play well, right? Finally, a decision comes because of that. So can I make, confirm that energy? Spirit, give me the energy. Was the decision once they saw the video, uh, the company, was this decision finally handed down once they saw the video? And, they, you know, what was the energy around that? Yep. And so what this talks about, it, we got to move forward, right? Uh, we're not getting anywhere with this situation. So I think, again, the video, and I, I was saying it in the podcast, the video, the pictures didn't help, right? This talks about, we've been trying to contact you. This is like, and I'm going to be honest, she hasn't been communicating with them well. This is resisting transition. This is resisting. This is not talking, not communicating. But I think she was fearing what exactly just happened, right? Um, that they would try to talk to her about ending the show and taking her name off of it moving forward, right? So this is what this talks about. These people are like, listen, we have money to make. We have business to do. We cannot keep ourselves in limbo. And that Knight of Cups is talking about we have to go with what's best for the company. We have to go. We got other people here. We understand, you know, Wendy's, uh, you know, we love Wendy. We support Wendy, but we can't keep going forward. We have to keep, we can't keep staying in limbo. We have to move forward. That five of pentacles represents, you know, we have to move forward. That's a recovery energy that talks about we have to keep pushing ourselves forward, right? Um, not losing the time slot, you know, again, that's following the heart. So it just feels like she really wasn't communicating. That six of swords is representing out. She wasn't communicating with them. They didn't know what was really going on. And then that video came out. And that's when they were like, this is a decision. Literally in six, one to six days of that video. Well, how many days has it been since that video been out? That's in days. One to six days that video came out. They were like, we're done. We're done. We're moving forward, right? Um, Let's go ahead and get the energy around... Um, you know, if Wendy Williams will come back, will she, will she come back to TV, television? Give me the energy around Wendy Williams. Will she ever come back to television? Like, will she ever actually do like the same thing she did host completely? Not just a, a guest, but will she actually come back and fully host a show on her own? Give me the energy around Wendy Williams. Four of Wands, the musician. And that feels very, that feels more like a temporary thing where if she did go on a show, it wouldn't be fully hers. It would be like a visit, right? Period. She's going to get her money. Her money is going to be attached. She's still got that problem with the bank here. The decision is going to be made. I don't feel she's going to completely do a show on her own. Very sh limited energy. If, 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 if she does make an appearance, it would be like nearly as a guest. Uh, give me the energy around Sherry Shepard. How is she going to do she had ten of cups that talks about uh, fulfillment energy. Give me the energy, happiness. Sherry Shepard show. How does this look for her? How does this look for Sherry Shepard? The right decision. The seven of pentacles. The three of pentacles. We're going to pull from the middle. 
Sherry Shepherd show is going to do well for a period of time. It's going to be short lived too. There's a lot of energy. A lot of people like Sherry Shepherd. I haven't watched it. I need to. But this is people tuning in. And then, you know, with all the stuff that's going on with Wendy, it makes it exciting and they want to watch. But after a while, the, it just dwindles down. It's not going to be the same. That Three of Pentacles is an energy around. It could be one to three years. One to three, you know, one to three years, something like that. And after a while, it just loses steam and momentum. And then it just goes away. We wish her continued success. We wish her all the luck in the world. We wish her more years than that. But it definitely shows one to three years, possibly. Um, and... Um, that she may have the show and then after that the show loses momentum it loses speed uh it talks about it just is not the same right um again long as she's attached to wendy and all the drama that's going on people want to ooh, ooh, what's going on but it's not going to be the same she would have to transition that show into her own um in order to make it really successful um give me the energy around um Give me the energy around the family, Wendy Williams' family. I just do not, I don't know. It's something about her brother. I do not like this man. Um, I can saw him show, Photoshop a photo of uh, uh, something in his, uh, in, his, in his YouTube channel. Give me the energy around Tommy. Will he get a chance to grow his channel? Or will he continue to use Wendy Williams to grow his YouTube channel? Tommy. Yep, he'll continue to use Wendy Williams to grow his channel and talk about the situation, etc., etc. They need to put a gag order on him. Give me the energy around Kevin Hunter again with his involvement in everything that's going on or lack thereof. Give me the energy around Kevin Hunter, husband. And again, Eight of Pentacles is here. I don't feel like, again, Eight of Pentacles is him um, pretty much being involved, but to limited. And it almost feels like he's just really going to, if he was involved, again, if he's involved, is to make sure that his money is protected, right? This is his focus on his, what his investment is in there, you know, because, you know, his money is tied to her money. <laughs> Give me the energy around her son. How does her son feel about this? He's been doing his very best to help his mom. Give me the energy around Kevin Jr. How does he feel about all of this? He's been the one doing all the strategic photos. And we tried our best, you know. He tried his best. Let me say this. He loves his mom. He wants, he made the sacrifice. He loves his mom. We tried our best and that's all we can do. And and I say, you know, I, I congratulate him for that because he tried to help his mom keep power, keep her in control, making sacrifices and stuff like that. He did it as far as long as he could. He's really the one that's been in her corner, guys. So, yeah, I know. Again, Kevin Jr. Yeah. Yeah. That's a disappointment energy and a conflict energy. But still, still going to fight for his mom regardless, even after this is all said and done. Will we see more social media information about Wendy's health from social media? On social media. Because, you know, will this, now that she's been pulled out of her show, will we continue to hear information and updates on her? Her health and what's going on. Well, should we continue to hear that about Wendy Williams? Give me the energy around Wendy Williams. Will we continue to hear? It? And that's yes, that's public information. So we will continue to hear stories about how she's doing and what she's doing and what's going on. And we'll continue to have more stories to share. And you'll hear more information along the way. All right? Will Wendy Williams do a podcast situation? That's the other question I wanted to ask. I know I'm kind of moving fast, but. I have so many questions in my mind. Will she do a podcast situation? Wendy Williams. Will she just go to podcasting? Get back to the radio. Nine of Cups is here. That feels really hard. That talks about, I don't think she'll make a lot of mistakes or have some challenges with that. Mm. All right. I don't see her coming back to an actual full-fledged show. I don't see her actually doing an actual podcast even fully. Um, I see her health still being affected. I still her see her battling with the bank. Uh, I still see her needing to improve her health. Um, that's what I'm seeing in her cards, guys. Um, Sherry Shepard show will do okay, to, uh, maybe for one to three seasons, and after that, it feels like it takes a dip. It's not the same, you know. Um, I wish her the best of luck. I wish Wendy the best of luck. Um, let's see. Will Tasha? <laughs> 
well, Tasha K. Tasha K wrote something on there, like uh, something was on the shade room. Tasha K was saying something about she was gonna be the next. Thank you, but I have my own show. This is the energy about Tasha K being the next Wendy Williams spirit. I was like, did anybody ask for that? But hey, give me the energy. Maybe it was on her channel. She saw comments. Give me the energy around Tasha K. Will she be like the next Wendy Williams? Tasha K. And that's a no. People are like ever ever since that um. Ever since that whole thing with Cardi B, people are going more and more. They just they're starting to dislike Tasha K more and more and go up more. Um, people need to be careful, especially if you have real stories that need to be told. Uh, you may want to be careful about sharing them on that platform because what she has in her energy is people are not going to believe anything that she's saying. So that talks about uh, disappointment energy, deception energy, artificial energy. Um, so if you really have like a serious story you want to share that you feel you want to convey a point, I mean, go on there if you want to, but I'm just saying like her reputation for being honest and truthful has been tainted to the point to where she's now being seen as, you know, undesirable, uh, box office poison, if you want to call it that people are not trusting what she says and does. Um, the bottom line is she'll never be another Wendy Williams into that degree. All right. Um, so make sure you, if you like, you know, if you have a real, like a serious topic that you want to share, like that, that lady with that guy, with that whole thing, with that baby, uh, with the child thing, that's not, that wasn't a platform because, you know, then it is not to be taken seriously. Even like the whole thing, you know, you know, I think Tosh is entertaining, but Make sure y'all are careful about that because her platform is now being deemed a platform that is, you know, not running with integrity and all of that. So, yeah. Uh, but I don't see her as the next Wendy Williams. I wish her the best of luck, though, in everything she does. I'm sure she'll continue to do her thing and make her coins and all that. Um, that's a whole different day. But, yeah, um, guys. So, the only thing I can say is it's bittersweet for me. I've been following it for about two years now. And I've been saying this uh, the entire time on every reading. I didn't think the show was going to continue. And um, it's now come to fruition. And I wish her the best of luck. Um, I see a lot of people not feeling, you know, not feeling in love for Wendy Williams. I was on um, the shade room watching Carly. I think I saw uh, uh, some from Carly Red. And she was saying, it's right here, uh, karma. A lot of people are not, you know, a lot of people are happy about her moving forward. You got to remember, Wendy has said some damaging things about some people. Um, so Carly, I am Carly Red said Karma Store. Sorry. Um, somebody else said, I think she should just start a huge podcast and possibly do it from home. Um, another person said, sometimes money isn't everything. Our health and happiness matters the most. You'll be missed. Another person said, I'm not going to lie. I will definitely miss her show. Say what you want. She was entertaining as hell. A lot of people are encouraging her to do the podcast. Uh, let's see. Let's see. She's irreplaceable. Wendy is one of the few people with with license to speak on everybody's business. All right. And one more. Oh, let's see. No more. How you doing? Oh, that just breaks my heart. All right, guys. So this is the end of the road for me. This is a quick reading on Wendy Williams. I don't see her doing a whole, you know, show again. I, I don't even, you know, if she does a podcast fully, I'll be surprised. I mean, I could see her maybe coming in as a guest person, but I would be surprised. Uh, she still needs to recover and take care of herself and get clear about what's going on around her. Get her financial situation in, in, in together. Um, I know a lot of people are going to be blogging and vlogging and making videos about it. And, um, you know, but in the one thing I would say is at least we've gotten closure with the show. Right. She's moved. It's It's done. It's over. Like now her, the focus should just be her getting better in her health. Right. So now we won't have to keep on speculating. Is it, is it over? Is it, is it going to continue? Is she coming back to the purple chair? It's done. Wendy Williams, we wish you the best of luck, continued health, and we wish you uh, blessings upon blessings. Sherry, we wish you the very best in your show. And um, hey, we're going to keep it moving. How you doing? Bye.